Hello everyone. Here in this video, we will do another example of Bayes' theorem based on a given probability tree. So the probability tree is there and we are looking for probability of A knowing B. So first thing here to note is that the order of uh, the, the conditional probability that we are trying to evaluate here is not the same as the order of the tree. B is in the second level and A is in the first level of the tree. And probability is asking for probability of the something from first level knowing probability of the second one. So this means that you cannot find that probability on the tree. And to be able to evaluate that, we will start by finding uh, using the formula probability of intersections over probability of uh, B. Then probability of B. Well, as you see, the events under the um, investigation are up to level two. So I don't need to consider the, the third level of this tree to be able to evaluate these values. But what we notice here is that the intersection will include only a one path here including both b and a so one over four times two over five but for b there are two paths uh two paths so the first one gives me this probability and the second one gives me this other one and this way you basically calculate what you're looking for this is a 1 over 10 this is 1 over 10 and that is 3 over 10 this all together is 1 over 10 over 4 over 10 you can cancel these guys this is 1 over 4 okay let's do another part uh, here we are looking for probability of b uh, complement knowing c so i will paste the tree here so that we can see what's happening so again the order of the conditional probability is not the order of uh, the tree c is in the third level and b complement is in the second one so that gives me the heads up to go and use the conditional uh, the formula for the conditional probability Well, and find each one of these guys. So this might be a little bit different uh, comparing to other examples because the two events that we are studying are in the second and third level. But knowing how to calculate uh, probabilities based on the tree, you can evaluate that. So let's start with this probability of B complement C. It means that find all paths which include B complement and C. So uh, B complement and C this is one of them b complement and c this is another one there are two paths which gives me uh, that um, probability so I'll find probability of each one so the first one gives me one times one over four times two over five plus the second one gives me one over six plus one over two sorry times i'm, I'm calculating probability of a path times three over five. So those are two uh, paths which give me um, the probability of intersection of B complement and C. How about probability of C? For probability of C, we have one, two, three, four paths ending to C. So I have to find probability of each one and then multiply these ones. So I'll go ahead for the first one is half times one over four times one, uh, two over five. The second one gives me, as we calculated above, this is this number. The third one is one third times, oops, this should be added. You find probability of each uh, path and add them. So one third, one half, and two, three over five. And the last path 
gives me 1, 6, 1 over 2, and 3 over 5. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 paths. And then you multiply, you simplify, and basically find the numbers in the numerator and denominator. Okay? Let us do one more example here. I, I won't simplify those numbers. You can do that. The rest is just straightforward. Okay. And the last part, again, I need to copy paste the tree here. Okay. So we are trying to find probability of A complement knowing C or given C. Well, uh, again, you can check the order is not the order of the tree, and you can simply do this part and uh, find each one. Probability of C, we already did compute in the part B. So there were one, um, what are the, the, the parts? So let me see, one, two, three, and four. Um, four paths ending to C. How about probability of A complement and C? There are one and two of these guys, which include C, both C and A complement. So if I want to write these ones in the numerator, I will have one third times one half times three over five plus one six times 1 over 2 times 3 over 5. For C, we have half times 1 over 4 times 2 over 5. We have 1 times 3 over 4 times 2 over 5. Then we have 1 third times 1 over 2 times 3 over 5. And the last one is, let me push this one a little bit to the left. Um, And the last one is um, um, one six times one over two times three over five. So you add all these guys, and that is the probability that we have to put in the denominator and calculate um, the prob the conditional given conditional probability. Okay, so that's. That's what we were uh, looking for. So you see that knowing when to use the formula rather than going and looking for probabilities on the probability tree helps us to set up correctly from the beginning and then use the other rules to, to find the, the interesting or your favorite uh, events.